What is up everyone? This is Phonics and welcome to the channel. This is the first video I've done on the channel. I've tried so so many times and it's very unfortunate. I've played so many different gods. It started with Chonga, this is going to end with Chonga. I've had so many technical issues and just not interesting games. I'm not worried about wins, losses, or even like if I frag. Like I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about if it's an interesting game. So, like, last game I did well, but it was an interesting game because my team got curb stomped. I was, like, 3-2 and two top damage while the rest of my team was, like, 0-6. Like, whatever. So, I'm not... This channel is going to be just about interesting games and hopefully stuff you can learn from. My favorite content and Smite on YouTube and on Twitch are play-by-plays and just other content, like, guides and stuff that you learn from. And that's what I want this channel to be. Um... I'm going to do it casually. If I, I'll take requests. I'll do, I'm sure there will be some fun stuff requested. I'll do that. Um, I'll try to play with friends some um, and do all this stuff. But I'm a solo slash uh, carry slash support main in that order. Um, today we'll be going against Bologna, which is also the god I played against when I first did tried record the, recording this video. So that's interesting. Um, but we're playing Chonga Solo. Chonga Solo is the only god in the entire game that will advocate building... Uh, pestilence, or sorry, pestilence. Meditation on. Meditation works on her because you don't have to back as frequently because it gives you 30% of your mana. Especially in solo, you get your blue buff. Your three is healing you up. Overall, and you have a health chalice. Overall, it's just, I feel like it is the uh, most bang for your buck uh, in the early lane because you can get bullied early, but with your three and with uh, med, you can avoid a lot of that bullying. Um, and actually counter bully. I, I, she used to be like my favorite pick into people like King Arthur. Um, used to be like my favorite pick into things like King Arthur and stuff like that. Uh, but I think she's a little worse now because I think a bunch of those gods aren't nearly as good. Like Kamazots, I like her in the Kamazots if you... Because you both kind of have that immunity. Kamazots jump is immune when he's in the air. Um, but it is... I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to go with my three level one but obviously you max the uh you max the one um but it like the reason you can get away with med and then another support friend uh support team item is her two is basically a uh it's basically a, it's it is a beads and ages gotta just make sure they know a starting blue so you start blue now pretty much constantly if you don't you um you're pretty much missing out on uh your your jungler's behind what escape? Okay. Anyway, I think he's telling Cuckoo when to drop um, the tornado. But um, so if both people start blue, you get three creeps. You get the three archers. If um, if no one start, if I start blue and he doesn't, I get five creeps and hit two before he does, and he has to go back and get those uh, creeps. So. We are, we're, because of us starting blue, no matter what, we're just, we are in the better spot. They're doing that. We're holding this for this right here. Nem's going to get here and tank the rest of this. And we are good to go. Balona shoved the wave. Did she full clear it? She did. So we're going to get our five creeps. I'm going to actually tank this a bit because I can do this. And just... And there we go. We don't lose anything to tower. So this is actually like perfect scenario. Now I'm not saying that you have to uh, you have to sh start blue. I just think it's the best start because okay. So we're doing that. She popped a pot. Gonna poke her. That does a lot of damage, actually. We don't really have a way to stop that from happening. I'm trying to. Hold. My chalice is very valuable because, like, if I don't, it, I want to save that for like really when I don't have mana. We can just poke her from a distance. Chong is one of my favorite characters to play. She's one of my favorite mages to play. I don't like necessarily playing her in mid, though, because she is susceptible to ganks. Um, but she's one of my favorite mages because she, like, when you play her, like, she has this whole dancing motif. And when you play her, it really does feel like you're dancing. And I just think that's really a cool design. She's popping a pot. I'm going to do this. 
just to anti-heal. Do that again. That didn't hit her. That's questionable. Okay, she did that. We're gonna pop a chalice here. Hit her there. She... Let's do that. Get, if we get on cooldown now, it'll come off cooldown sooner. You know. We have a small window to kill. Nah, okay. If she, like, if she tried to just clear the wave, we could have killed. Uh, once we hit five, though, we do have a... What are you doing? Um, like, Chonga's actually, like, a big bully in lane, I feel like. Um, as long as you get... I think you need the jungler just for the second the second blue buff. Once the second blue buff's down, you don't even need the jungler for that. We have our bunny going back to get the um, cooldown shoes. We're going to go into a breastplate ourselves here. Our med is coming offline in about a minute. We are going to grab the totem as well. We have our ult, so we do have kill potential now. Uh, but Chonga is just like a, like I said, she, you have to build her hybrid. You, a lot of people make the mistake when they play her in solo of either building her full damage or full, um, full tank. And neither way works. You have to do hybrid and you just got to play it by matchup to matchup. And we got ganked here. We're dead. Ah, oh, I didn't have wards. That's my fault. I didn't think the Susanoo would gank that early. That's my fault. Um, but we're still fine because we can pick up uh, some multi pots here without worrying about the bunny. And then we get to lane. We already have our boots. Bologna doesn't have boots or anything. Um, so we'll get to lane faster. We did have the totem. I just didn't have the mana. Med wasn't offline yet. And so that. That's I got greedy with the med early, and that cost me there. If I had med, I could have pop med, ulted them. Uh, probably not killed them, but there's a chance, depending on how much damage my ult did. But we are going to go breastplate here second. That's Bologna ult. It wasn't Susano ult. We'll do that. She's dead. So we immediately return the kill. Um, I didn't need to pop those pots in the end. I, I was just doing it in case it was an elongated fight. I don't really don't need you here. I would rather get the solo XP, but I don't have to use my abilities, I guess. All right, so the gank, I need a ward here because that's where he came. He, oh, no, he came from about here, so I should have warded high. worried if Alana tries to poke me here. She went... What did she go? She missed. She's Shogun's Kusari right out of the gate, huh? That's interesting. That's his pull. We're gonna go to the breastplate here. She has no kill potential with Shogun Skusari, but it really hampers my kill potential. Like, even... She doesn't have power behind the traits. Like, she really should have gone boots into Kusari if that's what she wanted to do. But that's just not going to work out for her as, like, as she's planning it in her head. Um, we're going to pop a multipot here. I don't want to... I don't want to use my... I mean, I'm sure, like, if her plans literally just keep me from killing her while keeping her build kind of in line with what she's wanting to do late game, then it works. We got our breastplate now. Our tier 2 breastplate, I should say. We're doing that. She missed. And we're, I mean, we're still doing damage to her. We're going to put a point in the three here. We actually have a chance to kill her. I got to hit him with the three, hit him with this. I, don't, I could ult and then follow up, but I still don't think it'll be enough because of Kusari, so I'm going to wait. I still have med, I still have a chalice. I still have my pots ticking even. We're going to just zone her. Just get totem. I'm 
afraid to move out much further because of Zeus. He's just been all over us. That's a good ward by her. There we go. Thank you. Beautiful by Nim. We're gonna go breastplate here. And we're gonna go here. Persephone's here. Wait. Why did I think Agni was here when Agni's not even in the game? So that blue buff is down. Our, our breastplate's gonna be on the way. Hit her with a heal just in case it's needed. She almost accidentally picked up that blue buff. I really don't know how that didn't hit. She'd be dead. She's still dead. Her ult was up. Okay. Breastplate. I shouldn't have dove like that. Sasano's here. We're 2 1 1. We're top damage. We're just kind of bullying. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Shaman. Or I, I typed in Shamans. I'm going Spirit Magus. It's Shaman's ring. I really don't know what that was. I'd rather just discourage him from coming in then. Alright, so we have a little bit of power. Uh, I'll end up going a... V Can I max range? No, he's going to back off. Alright, so we're gonna clear this and then we can actually probably contest this blue if they're not on it right now. Oh, they did. They did it. But she's gonna lose a lot if she comes this way because I can stun her out of the wave. I'm not going to though. She lost already half the wave. I'm not really worried about it. She picked up her attack speed boots, which is great for me because she didn't pick up any more protections. So we're gonna do this. We're going to be what? 1100 or so off, or 1050 off. I mean, it's on a 60 second cooldown, I'm not worried about. And, like, <laughs> this balloon is not going to be able to be like, oh, my jungler didn't help. Her jungler's been, like, camping hard. Oh, I didn't even see the, uh, them there. Heal. Got her. Nice. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna get. Zeus just did two things. He killed her, which was gonna happen, uh, but just denied me my blue buff by making me hesitate. Um, I'm gonna get a. Looking at their team, we'll go ahead and get the frenzy. I don't care about him getting that. I'm just going to poke at him. It sucks that I don't have mana, so I might have to back here. I don't know. Our med's coming off cooldown. I'm going to try and proxy, actually, now. Get the wave healthy. Alright, my frenzy's on the way, and then as soon as he gets back, I'm immediately going to send him back out again, almost. Not all, not immediately, but in 100 gold, I'm going to send him back out again for the Spear Magus. This is up. Let's do it. If I have to ult, I have to ult. There we go. She can hit me on 
all she wants. Uh, Magnus. No damage for you. I mean, we just do so much damage. And she just, like, it's just, it's so tough for her. Uh, our Spirit Magus just got back to base, so it's on its way up. She's actually dead without me even being there, because they are going to do that. I'm going to upload this video, e even if it's a short game. But actually, the rest of our team's kind of, uh, kind of not doing the greatest, so that's good. I'm guessing it's going to be our duo lane, since Cuckoo's been making a present. Eh, he's 1-1. One, one. It's a Cupid. It's below a TP down. That's a Totem for us. That's a Spirit Magus for us. That's huge. She's already half health, below half, and she's tr like, I think she's thinking she's going to sustain more than she is. Um, I'm going to just full clear this. Go back here and get my mana up. Um, I haven't had to deal with mid laner, so I think I'm going to go with an E-Staff and go into, I'll build a, I'll build something magical late. Tower. What's Persephone look like? She's 2-0-2. I'm going to build a void. A void shield. She's going to have to ult to live here. Or I'll have to whiff something. I'm waiting for the ult. Force the ult. Okay, she came back in. Don't know why. We have her blue up. Susanu's not securing it. No eyes on anyone though, but hopefully no one's invading. The only problem with this, and it's less of a problem in Smite than it's like other modes like League, is I don't have teleport. Teleport's very much like a sustained, don't miss farm type of item in Smite with some playmaking behind it. But in like League and stuff, it's definitely more about playmaking. So our bunny's going back to get E staff. I mean, I got tower. Is that the first? No, our mid lost tower first. I was say, is that the first tower of the game? I went ahead mid. I have a fresh blue buff ticking. Alona is four levels down on me. I'm trying not to like concede that I can't do much there without my E staff or like avoid. She wants to fight me, I'll gladly let her fight me. A little bit more mana sustained. I've only... I don't think I've backed except for my death. I don't... Uh, don't hold me to that. But I know I sent my bunny to do... Um, like, I wish I could be in left right now. I wish I could TP to left. Don't have that. I went off to for the frenzy. Uh, I'm going to push this one more. And then go to mid. Push mid. Hopefully get mid tower. Okay. over there. It just it, that's the problem with that's the only bad side about this is you can't rotate to fight somewhere, but that should be fine as long as they don't over extend. They've won that fight. They need to just leave, and I'm getting this tower. Okay. So we got another tower off that, where it was pretty much a wash on the team fight. Um, uh, 
the fight would have been done by the time I rotated from Salu. So I pushed my wave and took mid. So they wanted me, they were like, I mean, they're right. I, if I noticed it earlier, I could have, but I mean, Bologna TP'd um, and I didn't have TP. So uh, here we're going to. Like, okay. No <laughs> I <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna stop her from doing this. Wow, wait, she all no, she dashed. Okay. Um Enemy missing the helpful. An enemy has been so I'm trying to get to this fight by following her. Be careful, right? Enemy missing. Pop that ahead of time. That should be a dead Persephone. I'm here. her ult. She's dead. Persephone's already dead. Okay, so we still got the Jingwei, but Susana was here. Oh, I think I want the Shield of Regrowth for the CDR to get me max CDR in the movement, and it gives me a lot of health. And then I can go, I can go a Void for Pen. Yeah, I'll go Void for Pen, and then I'll get Bird Boots for like Mantle. So this buffs my team because they take more damage. This keeps me uh, in the fights because I'm like I'm just running them down, or keeps me out of the fights. This steals uh, HP and gives me HP cooldown. Uh, so we'll go void mantle. Void gives me that 10% pen. I don't think there's any there's no like 20% pen items. This might be better than void, but it doesn't give me protections. Uh, and there's no other item in the game that's giving me 20% pen. That's worth it for a solo laner. So, right now, 5 5 5, we're all pretty even. I'm not worried about them getting that left tower. Bologna is just got Berserker. She, I mean, I still mess her up. Like, I mean, she has health now um, because of the steel mail, but, like, that doesn't dissuade me from killing her. I have everything but top damage. I w and the reason it says I'm top kills, you know, we're evens, because I think I was the first one to five. I'm going to try and help this. I might just whiffed bad. Alright, so we just sustained, like, heavily. Um, we were able to... Come here, Cuckoo. Where are 
We're able to uh, keep people alive, and I think we got we got two kills directly, and we kind of got a third kill on our own. We have max CDR, so I mean, I do want the blue buff. She went mid guardian, really? Why? All right, well we're sitting on two thousand gold, so we're gonna back pick up our void shield, which sucks because we're gonna lose protections off of it, or void stone. Sorry, um, we'll lose the physical protections off of it. Then we're gonna sell boots for mantle whenever the time comes. Um, so we'll end up at almost 200 physical and 170 uh, magical. That's rounding, obviously. But now we have pen even, so. I really want this red buff, but I'm going to the fight. I have ult. She did hit somebody with the ult. So I just, I literally just kill her. Was their care that was one of their carries. They are getting Did Cuckoo or Yeah, Kumba just walked into that. He just suicided, hello. That's probably game. Um so basically I was I just got so far ahead from Like I I'm basically like a damaging support with this. Like, my, my immunity is on, like, an 8-second cooldown. Like, it's just... And then I'm moving so fast with this, I'm, like, impossible to kill. It's survivability through other means other than the protection, though I do have uh, protections. Movement speed's, like, the best stat in any MOBA. Left Phoenix, we didn't. She has help here, so I can't fight that. Uh, I'm already at 2,000 gold. Trying to get over here. Gotta go fast. Our ult's coming up in 20. We might be able to use it in this fight. Uh, Herc's dead. They're dead too. I can't get to him in time. Okay. We still have Fire Giant. Cupid's going to say something for in that lane when there was literally three mid, they rotated, and they still had two mid until I rotated. But they were already backing up so far at that point, I couldn't really follow up. Susanu, keep pushing this. I can kill him if he... Okay. Let's see if... We just murder them. I was Mez for years. It's actually amazing. I have in like 15. I was going to say they have to hit a kill. Let's see if I can catch her. I just oh, bought two of those. I just uh, I just wanted to uh, get to full build, you know. I really need them to get something, or I'm gonna wait for 100 gold. This is just greed on my part. I 100% just want to get full build on Changa. So I'm eight two and eight. There we go. There we go. So we're still sitting on 100% CDR. We got nice protections. Three K. They're okay. They're dying. Oh, I, my shield regrowth wasn't off cooldown yet. Cupid's gonna get that. Phoenix almost for sure. Enemy, put me on a team. 
Nice work. Upcoming. Okay, they don't even need me. He's fragging. I played him in solo last game. He was really good. Though it was more because I was getting sp uh, spam ganked. Way. Is she gonna actually? Like, I, mean, I did a good chunk of damage there just for my build. Wait, why are they diving that without a wave? Nah, that was greedy by me. We got those upgrades in our mid. This Cupid's not doing anything other than split pushing and is trying to like commentate every what everyone else is doing. It's very it's it's very obnoxious. I could react better than what I did, which I mean I didn't. I just so be in diving the Phoenix was. Um, we're nine three and nine, which I mean that doesn't matter too too much. Cuckoo's literally. I mean, we're all doing well except for. Uh, well, I thought Nem was doing better actually. Cupid's not doing too hot. He only has one stack on Rage um, and built Deathbringer, which I don't think is the play. Deathbringer just isn't good anymore unless you're like building three or four crit items. We're gonna move very fast out of base, so we gotta wait like two seconds after. That should be a free fire. We can just win now in a team fight, especially if we're grouped, which we haven't been, and part of that's on me. I'm not saying that. Um, just gotta keep moving. My movement speed up. CC on cooldown. Zoning her. I say be careful middle and they still take the fight. the slow I try and help cuckoo what are you even doing? we weren't able to
coming down on me, probably? No. Nope. There we go, that's game. Uh, I was just trying to play at the end there, I was playing it safe, like, but not giving up my team because I knew I had low cooldowns. Nice. Oh! I love Chonga Solo. She's very, I think she's strong, but I don't think she's like, game-breakingly strong. So at the end of the game here, I'm going to go over my thought process on my build and items and stuff like that. You can tell me if you think I'm crazy, uh, all that stuff. And uh, and if you want in the comments and you watch this, you make requests, all that. Um, I kind of got. I always get quiet towards the end of games because I'm trying to like focus. Um, my thought process at the end was hit them with abilities, dance out, try and sustain my team. Wait for my ult to come up, either initiate or counter initiate with my ult, or follow up on Herc CC. Um, so that's how I played it. Um, so let's look at the details here. I had 30k damage. I was second on the team. Um, our Kukulkan had 47k, which is what Kukulkan does, and Kukulkan fragged. Uh, Nem did really good there at the end, uh, especially on the Susanu that I thought got away. I went med. Med, if you play Chonga Solo, I think med is, you have to go med. And that's because it, it just, the mana sustain, you can out, it's like the same concept behind why Jingwei's amazing and carry is because she doesn't, all right, so there's a jump cut there. Uh, so let's go through my build. Um, my team was a uh, very, like, had a lot of CC. Nem had a slow and a protection shred. Herc has knock up his stun. Uh, Kakulkin has a slow, and if he built Gem of Iso, which he didn't, he would have had a AOE slow. Cupid has his cripple and a stun if he procs it right. So that was my mindset behind. Um, I as Chonga, I don't uh, picking Chonga. It was a blind pick, but even then I'd be like, okay, I can succeed in this game heavily because I don't need to be the one who's initiating or c catching someone with CC to get a pick. So med keeps you in lane. It gives you 30% mana. It's for the mana. It's not for the health. It can help a little with the health with, like, med baits and stuff. But it's for the mana. Um, you use your three to sustain, three and chalice to sustain up. I don't think I backed other than my death um, until, like, level 13 or 14. Um, and it was after that team fight and right. Um, I got mid tower and then backed off. Um, but uh, Frenzy is just a really good team fighting relic. We actually didn't really need it there because um, you do 10% increased damage, 15% uh, attack speed, and 10 pen. Um, and that's flat pen, not percent. Um, so it's good for shredding objectives. We actually really didn't need it. I popped it in a couple of fights, but this was like kind of irrelevant. I could have gone a... Even a Beads or an Aegis would have been better in this game for me just because I was misplaying against Sasano's and the 1v1s a lot because he still did a lot of damage to me. So we went Warrior's Blessing boot, cooldown boots. That gives you 10% CDR early. Warrior's Blessing's just broken. It gives you 25 of both protections uh, and the 25 true damage and mana. Like It's just a really, really good item. Um, you go Breastplate because it gives you 65 physical protections, which is a good amount, but more importantly, the 20% CDR, the 300 mana, and the 10 MP5 is underrated on the item. Uh, Chonga, you want mana, as much mana sustain as you can get um, without sacrificing builds, so this gives you 300 mana and 10 MP5. Uh, Spear Magus is just more damage. Um, it's flat pen. It gives you 110 power, so it puts power in your build, but you take seven. the targets take 7.5% increased damage, and it's really good because you can keep it applied. Um, so it lasts for 10 seconds, and the proc can only occur for 10 seconds. Your cooldowns are ridiculously low on Chonga, so you can just keep it at an all, an up all the time. Um, E-Staff, that's just, if you're playing a major guardian in the soul lane, you're building E-Staff at some point, unless you're, like, being, like, unless you're being truly obnoxiously tanky. Uh, E-Staff is just a great item, because it gives you 200 health, gives you 90 power, but more importantly, it steals 8%, um, uh, of their mana, but the main thing is the six percent of their health, uh, and you uh, you can have up to five at once. It lasts for fifteen seconds. So in the middle of a fight, you can just be super tanky. Uh, Shield of regrowth was kind of an audible. I wasn't really going it, but I kind of really like it if you're ahead um, because it just makes it that much harder to kill because of the forty percent increased movement speed. It gives you three hundred health, more mana sustain, mana sustain, health sustain, but important, more importantly, ten percent CDR. Um, it's just a great item for stuff like Hercules and stuff like that. Hercules didn't go with this game, but it just makes movement speed is a, a broken stat, and uh, getting 40% of it is fantastic. Uh, 
we went um, a Void Stone for 10% pen. I wasn't worried about percent pen, really, because I was going after Squishies like Susano, Jingwei, uh, Persephone, and I was doing a lot of damage to them. You saw me blow that Persephone in mid, um, like, two-thirds through the game. Um, but it still gave me 10%, so I could still do stuff to tanks. Bologna made a mistake here, and... Our, our two biggest threats were Cuckoo and Changa, and she went Berserkers into Midguardian. Why does she need Midguardian onto our team? Like, Nem, yeah, was auto, but Nem was also 7 and 8 going into that last fight. Like, she, she wasn't that big of a threat. She was dying to me, and she was dying to Cuckoo. And so she should have, instead of a Midguardian, gone a Ma Onis here. If she was going to go Onis, I would have probably gone Genji's or Pestilence. Um, but... And I mean, they did have anti heal. They had the brawlers. They had. They could have used a toxic blade because I don't know. They got rage. So, yeah, they had all the anti heal they could have, um, but it just wasn't. It wasn't enough. Um, this, by the way, is probably close to the best crit build now. Um, I don't know for sure. This, if you don't need anti heal, be replaced by like wind demon. Um, you might not need deathbringer, but this is thirty percent pen. Just these two items. Um, and then finally the mantle. The mantle's just 60-60 prots. You get a lot of protections from it, and you maintain your CDR, so you lose, like, 55 power from the boots or 50 power. It's still worth it to go. Um, we ended the game base stats, 20, uh, 2,800 health, uh, 215 physical, 178 magical protections, 65 MP5, uh, or HP5, um, and still had 340 power uh, and 10% pen. Um, and we had max cooldown and 39 MP5. So, like, we just had incredible sustain, and we don't, we didn't incredibly sustain our team. Um, our healing was 4,600, so that's good, but that's not like, oh my gosh, it's insane. Uh, we took, we didn't take as much damage as Nem because she was going in there with her shield or Herc because it's Herc. But we still took a good amount of damage and we mitigated. We mitigated 39 and then we healed 46. So while this isn't all just on me, we we nullified, what, 40, 40, f almost 44k exactly, which is really good for like a Changa who's not known to be tanky. Um, I think she's underrated. Do I think she can, like, you can play her in the SPL or like Masters ranked, uh, without like without the perfect comp or matchup no do i think even into platinum diamond it could work uh yeah um you just got to be smart how you play it you can't just think okay i'm gonna kill you instantly uh you got to be patient you got to poke you got to play around your mana more so i hope you enjoyed it in the comments please uh if you ha enjoyed the video like subscribe whatever but please more importantly um Make suggestions, leave comments, interact with the video. Um, I want I I'll take feedback on how my format is. I'll take feedback on um, a bunch of stuff. But I'm posting these full video, no cuts from the start of the match to the end, so the videos will be longer. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one.